Welcome back everyone and today we're going to do the installation for a 4090. We already pulled out the 3080 Ti. You guys can see this thing is absolutely massive. It's got a lot of power. I removed the uh, PSU already and I put in the MSI PSU with the 5.0 which has this lovely cable which is the new power supply connector for the new GPUs but it does come with this so this applies to all of the 40 XX cards not just the um, the hybrids the water cooled or the MSI's now if you don't want to change out your PSU or if you can't afford to hopefully you have at least a thousand watt power supply and you can use this adapter see this goes into the new GPU these need to go to PCI cables that then go to your power supply and you need to have four slots four PCI slots available on your power supply four not three or two as you can see it tells you it needs to have four because if you do three or you try to like daisy chain them you will cause some serious issues and we know from a few youtubers that they've caught fire so that's that so this is a water cooled I already have the top off for the cover there I used to have two fans here. These were the ones they were just pulling hot air out of it, but I didn't I didn't really need them. So now I only have two fans They're actually in the front there. There's one big one and a smaller one underneath. This is an 8 core AMD CPU, so it doesn't have to be water cooled. This is the factory fan for it. But if you were to do a 12 core or 16 core, it needs to be water cooled, and then you would be a little bit tight on space. So we're going to put the cooler for the 4090 up here, which you should do for all GPUs or any CPUs. So, oh, I can actually see that there's a little thing in over there. I have to get that out with some tweezers. So, we're going to have to be a little bit gentle with this. But this is the 4090. Let's actually get the all the plastics off. kind of forgot about that. It's got a lot of plastics on here, but we're going to show you guys how to actually install this properly. This only takes up two slots, which is nice. Probably should have taken all the plastics off before we started this video, but it's okay. This is actually a very beautiful card. It's actually, it looks stunning. Not sure if it has any RGB lights or anything. I personally don't like those. But, to we'll find out, obviously you also want to take off that. These, we'll leave them on for now. We'll take them off when we power the computer up. Let me actually set this in here briefly. So I can get all this tape off my hands. It is sticking to my hands, if you guys can hear that. I believe there is one more on this side. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Silent gaming. Oh, interesting. Is there a switch there? Silent or gaming. Okay, look at that. So you can actually... Oh, okay. It's pretty cool. We'll have to play around with that. Probably if you're not gaming... And you're doing a lot of undoing work, which this is a beautiful card for that. You can actually hook that up. So, I got the cooler still in the uh, box there. Trying to line this up. Uh, we got some cables in the way. This is a little tricky to do with an iPhone camera in the way. I just want to make sure that it's locked. There's a little lock there. Um, we also got the the main ATX, I mean the main motherboard power supply going, I mean the cables going through here. And we just need to do that. Actually let me show you guys how to, there we go. See, I have it routed through this. This is a Corsair case. 
Uh, yes. So it's going to go in like this. Beautiful. That is that is in right there. Uh, let's grab. As you can see now, we need to these little guys. Hopefully, you can fit them in depending on your case. Thankfully, you do not need a bigger case if you are upgrading from a thirty seventy or a thirty eighty or a three ninety and you got this water cooled version, you do not need a bigger case or anything. And I actually, I love this. I got some, look at this, I got some space. I need to go back and get the covers for this. I got my old Elgato capture card there. And I do have a new one Elgato capture card, but I put this one in this rig because if you want to upload PS3 gameplay, you need a card, a capture card that does not block you with the safety features or the piracy things. So, this one works. The newer Elgato Caps uh, cards don't work. Let's just tighten it up. Eh, not too much because we might have to actually move it around. But I'll tighten that after. And now we get the cooler in. Um, this is the cooler. See, there's holes there. And obviously you don't have to plug anything in because the wires go through the cabling to the card. So that's a nice little... Now I did not do a test fit to see if this actually fits. Okay. This might be a little tight here. So... It comes with these. A washer and a little, little... Cool. And you're gonna actually just screw them up top into the thing. Use the washer. Uh, I need to actually double check here to make sure we have everything correctly. Again, clearance on my case here looks to be very tight. As you can see, it's gonna be very close to the CPU. Now we could actually move this. No, we can't move it to there. So we're actually gonna have to leave it close to here. Now, you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing well. Maybe I can show you like this. I need to find two of the... So, judging by the hooks here, I can only... I would have to mount it like right over here in the middle as you guys can see it. So. Basically, it's going to be going kind of in the center of the space there. And I'm just going to screw it in, and that's pretty much it. And obviously, take off the plastic covers where the HDMI cards are, but that's basically it. And you have it in, and then it's installed. But again, this is very close. I'm not happy about that, but we'll see what the temps are running between the CPU and the GPU. But it should be fine. It looks like this lights up over here with a name. Let me know what you guys think, or if you have any questions, I will try to help you out during the install. Obviously, if you have an air-cooled one, you don't have the cooler, but I don't think it would fit in this case because it would just probably hit. It's just, they're just too big. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions, or if you have any questions about if you should buy the 4090, because if you're not 4K gaming, or even if you're not 2K gaming, if you're just like 1080 still, or just playing old games, you don't need this. So. But if you're doing a lot of video rendering, simulations, stuff like that, yes, you do need a 4090. Alright guys, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.